tell you guys four things that I think might really influence and help you make the decision that you have to move. So we all bought these homes where we are and we thought we were super happy and things change. Our communities change, our lifestyles change. So I think the very first thing that comes to light right now is everybody's having to go back to the office or, you know, maybe they're quitting their jobs. But some of you all took a wild leap and moved over to the beach and your office and your job, uh, your place of employment, now they are asking you to come back to work and you cannot work virtually five days out of the week. So that's a big deal. Maybe it's time to sell. Is that commute killing you? Are you able to show up to the kids' soccer game? Are you get home for dinner? Are you missing saying good morning to your kids because they're still asleep and you're having to leave at oh dark 30? So your location of your employment is a big deal. The second thing that I've found in my age group is the layout of the house. We had a big colonial for 15 years up and down those stairs. But when the kids are gone and I don't have to clean that huge house anymore, I think maybe my knees are killing me. So we started to look for a rambler on one level so we could get to where we needed to and not have to run up and down the stairs all the time. A lot of times you don't need that colonial anymore. So, or a split level, split level, you gotta make a decision, go up or down to get to anything. So the layout of the home is a big deal. If it's not working for you anymore, that might be a reason why you have to sell. And the next thing is um, the actual lot size. If you are on a crazy big lot and you're tired of mowing the lawn or you can't keep it up anymore. On the other note, if you are on a smaller lot and you wanna have a pool put in, or maybe you want a pickleball court. A lot of people are putting in pickleball courts anymore. If the lot size is too small or too big and it's not something that's making you happy and it's affecting your quality of life, you know, a lot of people are having a couple generations live in that house. A pool was a big deal. A pool is an amazing opportunity to bring the family together. So if your house cannot have a pool, guess what? That might be a consideration on that you're gonna to have to sell and change your location also. The other thing is surroundings. And this one came to me because as we drive out of our subdivision, I can't take a left anymore. We are on a two lane road, new construction now directly across the street as we exit our community and it's frustrating. So maybe where you're living, things are, have evolved over the last five years a lot. Things have changed a lot, at least in our area. We're in Northern Virginia, coming down towards Fredericksburg, Stafford area, Spotsy, and people are more folks are coming this way because it's so expensive to live up north. So the evolution of new commercial, new schools, new subdivisions like crazy. A lot of the um, farmlands, which, um, you know, where we are, there is a beautiful horse farm right across the street. Those people are, maybe they're gonna sell out. Next thing we know, we're gonna have new construction in our backyard. So that is another influencer on whether you want to sell or not. So I think that these are things that if you're uncomfortable where you are, you guys, it's quality of life. Are you getting what you want out of your home? So those are four reasons that you might wanna sell. The lot size, because you can't put a pool in or you can't do the pickleball court. The other thing is the layout or the square feet, of finished square feet of your home. Are you comfortable running up and down stairs anymore? Are your knees killing you? All right, then the other thing is the location. Maybe you thought you'd never have to go back to work in a physical office and you thought you'd work virtually for the rest of your life. Things change, don't they? And then the last thing is the surroundings. What's happening in your community? Are things being built up? Are things being moved around? Does it make you happy? If it doesn't make you happy, call. Let's see what we can do to check it out. Let's see what else is around there. Anyway, I'd love to help you. Those are some four things that will influence the fact that maybe you need to go ahead and sell. Bye y'all.